Hello, thank you for coming to this video today, guys. I really appreciate it. Today is an important day. It's the Shelly rollout. Uh, we're going to be going over two things in this video. So the first half of the video is going to be me reading this blog post from IOHK Tim um, and explaining to you guys what's going on with the Shelly rollout. Uh, we're going to be hitting that hard fork. In the second part of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually participate uh, with us. There's some new Daedalus wallet. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and open that in Linux. But if you're doing it on Mac or Windows, it's going to be the exact same. So the second portion of the video is going to be how to download and install and recover your actual ADA funds on this wallet. Uh, so you're going to be recovering your funds, but they're going to be testnet ADA. So you're going to be able to participate, delegate the pools with your real ADA to get kind of a, a rough idea of what the rewards are going to look like per epoch. But remember, they're every six hours. So just to recap, first half of the video, we're talking about Shelly rollout, what's going on, the hard fork, uh, we, we did it. Uh, second half of the video, it's going to be Daedalus. Um, I'm going to be doing it from Linux, but you guys can follow along with any operating system. Uh, before we jump into the video, uh, if you guys want to support me, make sure you guys check my description down below. Also, leave a like and uh, share this video. Uh, leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Um, there's two ways you can support me. Um, first is downloading the Brave browser. Uh, it actually blocks ads and pays you in cryptocurrency for using the browser. Um, and the ads within those within the browser don't have trackers like the normal ads do. And those trackers actually get your IP address, get your location, and sell that to other people. The other way you can support me is crypto.com. You can actually buy ADA fee-free with a debit card on there. Um, if you download that, I get $50, and you get $50 if you stake their coin. Um, it's pretty cool. I use their exchange. But let's jump into the video. So the Shelly rollout weekly update. It's the 24th of July, and this is from IOH Kim, or IOHK Tim. I always love his blog posts. They're, they're great. Um, they really do a good job of explaining everything. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen these in my older videos. So we're in the home straight now, uh, on the runway, on the launch pad. Insert your favorite metaphor. But however you look at it, Shelly is imminent. Over the past week, we've been working on final updates, integration, and performance improvements. Managing all the different work streams and coordinating their final deliveries has been a Herculean task. Our new logging and monitoring system has meant we have been able to easily identify bottlenecks and impl implement required changes. But above all else, the team has been working relentlessly, especially now that their goal is so close. With the help of our stake pool operators, the Node team has continued to test, optimize, repeat. The wallet backend team has been working around the clock to integrate the latest node modifications. The Daedalus team have been adding final UI touches and ensuring every backend wallet element is properly integrated and tested, bringing us, over, bringing us ever closer to the full Shelly experience. Um, this is what I'm excited to show you guys today is how close we are actually to this Shelly experience with this wallet. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, it's going to be more exciting later in the video, I promise. But this is great news. So uh, It has been a very busy week for the team. In order to test the node, we have... We've ha we had some pre-releases of wallets that were not stable, so they were swiftly retired, fixed, and re-uploaded. That's another thing I want to touch on today. These wallets might have some bugs. Remember, this is a testnet. We also spun up a number of new testnet networks. Based on the mainnet candidate builds, inevitably it was going to be a get a little fuzzy at this point. With so much happening fast and parallel, thanks to our stake pool operator community for their patience and, and support during this busy time. Earlier today, we spun up a new test network, network based on the new release candidate called Mainnet Candidate 3. I mentioned this in my video yesterday. A good number of stake pools have now joined the Mainnet Candidate 3 build testnet. This is looking very much like this is the one. The version, give or take one or two final tweaks that will make its way to the Mainnet. Also, be shared with our exchange partners and integration for integration testing. More on that a little later. So I'm going to stop and explain this a little bit. So mainnet candidate three is what all stake pool operators should be on right now. Um, there's three mainnet candidates going on, but mainnet three is the latest, and this is going to be the one that's um, going to stay um, unless something happens, obviously, but I don't think so. They're saying everything is good to go. Um, this is actually what I've been building my pool on is mainnet candidate three. Um, and this is actually mainnet candidate three is actually what this latest wallet's going to be connected to. Um, it has the latest Shelly features. Ready for prime time. We have now arrived at the most critical point in the whole rollout and also the most exciting. We have just commenced the countdown process that will transform the mainnet from a federated Byron model to a decentralized Shelly network. 
I mean, how many times have you guys heard this federated Byron model in, uh, in, in my videos in the past couple weeks? The mainnet epoch boundary started at 21.44.51 UTC tonight. And around 20 minutes ago, we just submitted the update proposal. While Cardano is currently running in a federated mode, the whole update process has been designed to accommodate the future on-chain government's approach of Voltaire. Woot woot! So in effect, the code upgrade process runs like a voting system. So the first step is a proposal to make a change. In this case, to implement a fundamental one to the core Cardano Byron code base and migrate it to Shelly. This, commence, this will commence the sequence of triggering the hard fork combinator to deploy Shelly. For it to take full effect, it also needs to be endorsed. This is step two. Now this doesn't need to happen immediately. There's another window here. During this time, we can also make amendments to the initial proposal, so we plan to take a full advantage of this period. Over the weekend, Alan and his QA team, plus a bevy of volunteer testers, i.e. big pay, uh, will put the main net release candidate through its final paces. And this is what I'm going to be asking you guys to take a part in this test net if you can, uh, because we need we need some testers, man. We can we can fix some stuff if if need be. We will do final stress tests and performance analysis. We do expect some ongoing performance enhancements over time. For example, in the area of CPU usage and optimization, um, and also networking. In my opinion, if we encounter any issues, the developer team also working this weekend will assess these in terms of launch readiness. They will either log or address any minor issues. If required prior to the fork, we'll release a new version. The migration protocol supports this, and this will happen before 2141.51 UTC on July 27th. So that nodes can be restarted with the new config and already produced blocks. A vote of confidence. Once we're all happy, we'll endorse this proposal on the network. Literally a vote of confidence. With that, the blue touch paper is well and truly lit. The third and final step we will see is the hard fork combinator triggered and the transformation will take place at the start of the epoch on the 29th of July at 21.44.51 UTC. Lift off, and here's Shelly. But let's be clear, this is a complex procedure and we're building, a Cardano, we're building Cardano to last. The Shelly protocols and parameters have on, undergone significant testing by IOHK, our community pioneers, over the past months with, after rigorous formal methods development. If we do hit any issues over the weekend and we feel that we need more time to address critical integration bugs that may destabilize the network we won't be afraid to pause the launch sequence regroup fix and redeploy the next epoch in the next epoch our confidence remains high but this is a complex deployment and we need to build this in contingency with such a critical upgrade to mainnet we shall always err on the side of caution and get it right. I agree with this completely. If, there, if it were delayed a week, who cares? If there was a minor bug that needed fixed and we got delayed, we're here. We're in the final stages. Let's do this right. Um, and honestly, that would probably make a people make some people scared, sell, and I'd be able to get some more cheap beta, and then we'd be able to, and then it would go right back up the following week. You know, exchanges and infrastructure. So that's the latest status on the network side. Another critical factor in success migration is the exchange integration. This is equally a complex tax, but for many different reasons, technically we have worked hard to make upgrading relative straight to make upgrading relatively straightforward for our exchange partners using our new Industria interfaces and libraries. For several months, we've been running this as an independently resourced work stream in collaboration with the Cardano Foundation. We've had dedicated exchange relation team focused on supporting our partners to get hashtag ready for Shelly because ultimately our exchange partners represent the final mile in the Shelly deployment. With 40 plus exchanges listing Cardano and a number of other, of other integrations, i.e. third party wallets, this is never going to be a straightforward task, but our team has been working tirelessly to make it smooth and easy as possible for our partners and try to anticipate any downtimes and glitches and minimize any exchange downtime. We'll share more info next week in our next monthly show, so make sure you guys check out that monthly show. I think it's going to be on Thursday. Uh, they, they, do it, they do it every Thursday once a month. So about the work that has been going on and what our ADA holders need to know about the migrations. TLDR, your ADA will always be perfectly safe, but some partners may be slower to migrate than others. But needless to say, this is an area to continue to manage closely and try to make the whole process as smooth as possible to minimize any exchange downtime that might be needed for exchanges to make the, ne the changes needed for Shelly. This is an incredibly exciting time, the dot of the network evolution that will start to transform Cardano delegation and staking in August, a rapidly decentralized network built by the community for the community. More exciting still, 
Shelly represents just the final step in a series of network improvements over the months ahead that we will believe will transform the entire cryptocurrency industry. See you next week. And then they got a little picture right here of the update proposal. Um, and you can see this is on Sam's system, you know, Sam Leathers. Uh, he's a great guy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for reading that all verbatim, but it's. I think this is really important information. I hate doing that. I hate just reading an article, but it was a really good article. It explains exactly uh, what the heck is going on more than anything else that I've seen. Um, so I hope you guys find this useful. Um, but now we're actually going to jump to the second portion of the video. But but like I said, guys, I'm so excited. Please comment down below how excited you guys are about this. Um, if we do have to wait a little longer, it's okay, man. What's one epoch, you know? Uh, like he said, we're changing the crypto industry as a whole um, over these next few months. So either way, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. I'm thrilled. Um, I just want to say thank you to IOHK Tim and just everyone at IOK, IOHK. Uh, I know they've been working much longer hours than me and working much harder than I am, you know. Um, and I've been working pretty hard, you know, so I can't imagine how hard they're working, staying at the office and doing all this stuff. And I just wanted to say thank you if you're watching this video, Tim, and thank you to everyone else at IOHK and thank you to Charles and um, thank you to everyone at the Cardano Foundation. Thank you to everyone at Mergo. Um, you guys have been really working hard and it's really going to pay, pay off for us and pay off for the industry and I really appreciate it. But let's jump into the second part of the video and I'm going to show you guys how you guys can actually participate in this test net. All right, so this part is gonna be a little confusing for Windows and Mac users, but do not worry. This part, you can skip entirely. All you need to do is click the link down below and download um, the Daedalus wallet um, and then start it. It's just a .x file or the .mac file, whatever it's called for Mac, um, and just run it. But I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on Linux because I hear the Linux version is a little more stable. So if you guys have access to Ubuntu, I would do this. So all you need to do is type in wget um, in your downloads folder, and then the link I have down below. So there's gonna be three different links down below. There's gonna be a .bin file, a .x file, and a .os or .ox or whatever Mac is. Those are gonna be the three different files you need for the different operating systems. So if you're using Linux, you're gonna be using the .bin file. If you're using Windows, you're gonna be using the .x file. So all you're gonna do is type in wget, and you're gonna paste in that link that I have down below. It's gonna look just like this. So once you have that link in there, you're gonna run another command, and it's chmod, right here, chmod x plus x, and then you're just gonna type in day and then press tab. Uh, we can go ahead and do that again just to show you guys. And this is just giving you permissions to actually use this file. So we can type in day, tab. Um, I haven't actually have another one in here, so I just have to type four and then tab again. And then just run that. It'll actually give you the permissions for it. So then all you do after that is you type in dot slash day tab. And then, cause I have another one in here, four tab and then you click enter. So then that's gonna compile everything for you. And then once everything is compiled, um, you're gonna be ready to go. All you have to do is come to your search right here, click the new Daedalus tab. It's gonna open like a app in Windows. So then we are ready to go. So we're just gonna need to agree to the terms of service like always. This is my first time running this wallet. So we're in the normal Daedalus screen. I'm gonna go ahead and take a top and, or a stop in the video. Okay, so in this portion of the video, we're actually going to be recovering a Shelly wallet. And I wanted to take a little bit of time to explain um, what we're doing here. So we're using our actual recovery key from mainnet. And this recovery key is what you use for your normal wallet. So if you have a lot of ADA in a wallet and for whatever reason you feel insecure, then just don't do it. Um, but, I, but I trust these wallets. Uh, I'm secure with it. I'm just going to use one of my uh, wallets with less funds. Um, it's, it's important to actually have some funds on here so you guys can test stuff. There's no faucet. So what you guys are going to do is get that secret key from your wallet, um, and then you're going to click Restore right here. Um, and also, make sure you guys only use the wallet links from my description down below. Um, I'll never put invalid wallet links down there, so I'm, I'm a source of trust in a sense. Um, I would never do that to you guys, and if I did, then obviously you guys would shoot me down, you know. Um, so you just need to just, what kind of wallet would you like to restore? Um, we're going to go ahead and go with your Roy. We're going to be restoring a Roy, a Roy wallet today. And then look down here, 15 words, Byron or Shelly. Think about it, guys. We're coming from the Byron or the Byron Federated model, so a centralized model. So the wallet that we're covering is obviously going to be a Byron model. 
just wanted to explain that to you guys. So then we're going to go ahead and actually type in this recovery phrase. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video to save some time. Cool. So now you guys have that recovery phase typed in. We're going to go ahead and name this wallet. Uh, we're just going to call this uh, your Roy wallet. Um, this is the wallet with my three ADA that I always tell you guys about in it. I'm going to go ahead and type in a password. Remember, it has to be 10 characters long. Um, I, I would make sure you guys remember this. You're going to need to retype it in to delegate later. The wallet has been successfully restored. Cool. All right, so look, this is a Byron wallet, and I'm going to take this time to give you guys some knowledge. Um, so there's, in the Byron, the federated model, what we were at before Shelly, there was two types of keys within Cardano. Um, you can call these enterprise keys or payment keys. Essentially what it was, was you have a public key for payment addresses and a secret key for payment addresses. The secret key is what you use to send funds, uh, recover the wallet, uh, so essentially, what we're doing now is this this wallet right here, this Byron wallet, only has two keys. It has a payment secret key and a payment public key. So what we need for Shelly to delegate, we need a delegation or a Shelly secret key and a delegation or Shelly public key. But you also need the payment key and of the payment public key and the payment secret key. So essentially by creating this new wallet, we're like, like we're about to do right now by clicking add wallet, um, we're gonna have four different types of keys, a public and a secret key for both delegation and for payment. Does that make sense? Comment down below that, hey man, that makes sense. You, you squared it out for me. If not, ask more questions and I'll uh, get that answered for you. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and call this wallet the Shelly wallet because you know it's got our new keys. I'm going to go ahead and make it the same password so I don't forget. Doesn't match. Oopsies. Cool. Create Shelly wallet. All right. So I'm going to have to go over here and write this down. All right. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, write this down, and we'll come back. Okay, now that we have both of these wallets synced up and ready to go, we should be able to just move the ADA to an existing wallet. Um, I actually did run into an issue with the wallet, um, but we'll see if we can get it working. If not, it is no worries. Yep, so we're getting the error code. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to move over the ADA and the Byron wallet over to the Shelly wallet, um, but using their function that does that all for you, there is actually an error that occurs. Um, so I'm going to have to go ahead and stop the video here today. Um, I did actually reach out to IOHK and they said they're sorry for this. You know, this is a test net. Um, they did spin, spin this wallet up real fast. So uh, what they're going to do um, is they're going to be, there's going to be a new wallet either today um, as I release this video or tomorrow or maybe even Monday. Um, and you guys just need to come back, check this video again, and then there'll be a, a description down below. Um, where you guys can just get the new link to the new wallet. And um, I'll make sure the second that comes out, I'll release it on my Discord. So you guys can join my Discord down below if you want that notification. Um, I'll also post it on my Twitter. So also if you'd need, if you rather have that than Discord. Um, but yeah, I still do think it's important to include this in the video because it does everything works. You're just going to click move ADA to existing wallet. It's going to move your existing ADA to the Shelly wallet. And then once the ADA is in the Shelly wallet, you can actually go to the delegation center. And then within the delegation center, you can actually choose stake pools. Like for example, if you were going to choose swag, for example, um, you can just delegate to his pool with the ADA that you have in your Shelly wallet. I um, mean, there's a lot of new features, so I do think it's important for you guys to check this out. Um, and you can also look at the info. So currently um, D is equal to one. But yep, that's the video. I'm um, sorry I did run into this error at the end. Uh, they were working on fixing that. I think the Mac and Windows version might work. Um, but like I said, if it doesn't work, no worries. Just come back to this video in a day. And then I'll in the description, it'll say, hey guys, the wallet has been updated. Uh, here's the new update links. And this problem will be fixed. Um, but I do want to get this out there because it is important. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like. If you made it to the end, uh, please comment your Roy down below. Um, it is my favorite wallet right now. But, yep, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you leave a like. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Shelly's in four days. A lot of good stuff coming soon. I never talk about price, but, I mean, I think I saw almost 14 cents this morning. It's uh, 
it's beautiful, man. You know, if it, if it would have got delayed, we would have got some cheap prices again, but I don't think it's ever happening. But I hope you guys all have a good day.